Achromatopsia is a hereditary disorder which affects the cones in the retina. Since cones are responsible for color vision, those with achromatopsia experience their life in shades of gray. This autosomal recessive disorder is characterized by changes on chromosome 14, chromosome 8Q21 through Q22, chromosome 2Q11, and chromosome 10Q24. Since achromatopsia affects the performance of the cones on the retina, achromats have little to no color vision. Normally, rods work in conjunction with cones on the retina. To see better in the dark, cones go on break and rods go to work. In achromatopsia, the cones are always on break while the rods work overtime. This means that an achromat's world is extremely bright. Light sensitivity is one of the major symptoms of achromatopsia, so many achromats squint throughout most of the day. Those with complete achromatopsia tend to have very poor vision because of the abnormality of the retina. Most children with a complete achromatopsia have 2200 vision or less. There are two forms of congenital achromatopsia, rod monochromatism and blue cone monochromatism. Rod monochromatism is an autosomal recessive condition and is the most common form of achromatopsia. This means that each parent provides a faulty gene which will be replicated during meiosis 1 and passed on to the child. If one parent passes on a faulty gene and the other parent has no faulty genes, the child will just be a carrier. Blue cone monochromatism is an X-linked inherited condition, meaning that this condition is inherited on the X chromosome and is very rare. If two achromatic carriers have children, the siblings will have a 50% chance of being an asymptomatic carrier, a 25% chance of being unaffected at all by the disease, and a 25% chance of being an achromat. If a complete achromat and an achromatic carrier have children, the siblings will have a 50% chance of being a carrier and a 50% chance of being a complete achromat. If two achromats have children, the siblings have a 100% chance of being achromatic. Achromats are usually diagnosed as children. Achromatopsia has no cure, but there are measures that can be taken to help an achromat with their daily life. To reduce light sensitivity, children are often given a pair of glasses with red lenses or red contact lenses. Although color vision cannot be restored, there is a new device called an iBorg which allows achromats to see colors through sound waves. An achromat artist named Neil Harbison was the first person to use the iBorg in order to paint in color. For children with achromatopsia in school, it is best for them to sit near the front of the class and have large print books or use magnifying devices. What are the risks and benefits of gene therapy for young achromats? One of the major risks of gene therapy is the potential for the inhibition of the immune system, thus making the achromat more susceptible to disease. Another ethical problem associated with gene therapy is the topic of playing God. Does having the ability to alter one's genes give you the ethical and moral permission to do so? To date, there has been no found cure for genetic disorders. Being able to go in and fix a faulty gene can equal new life for patients with genetic disorders around the world. Where is the largest genetic frequency of achromatopsia? Achromatopsia affects approximately 1 in every 33,000 Americans. Although the island of Pinchlap in the Western Pacific has a very high incidence of the disease, approximately 6% of the population on the island has achromatopsia. How has achromatopsia impacted artistic media? Along with achromatopsia came the creation of the iBorg. Without this clever technology, artists with achromatopsia would not be able to see color, therefore having a difficult time in the field of art and media. This is especially true in the case of Neil Harbison. Without the iBorg, we would not be graced with his paintings today.